Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a comparison between the Alpha People's O'Malley and the Alpha People Riley sunglasses. But first off, we have today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadeReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop off these sunglasses on face, starting off with the O'Malley. These have 48 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses first came out all the way back in 1988. This is one of our people's oldest frames that they're still producing to this day. Now let's go ahead and pop on the Riley and these have 49 millimeter lenses in a 20 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses were originally released as eyeglasses, I think in the early 2000s. And then as of very, very recently, our people's actually started putting sunglass lenses in these uh, right from the factory. So I'm sure as you can see, both these sunglasses do look very similar on face. They both have that keyhole style bridge here, and then they also have those metal accents as well. The biggest difference here is the fact that the O'Malley have these really round lenses, and then the Riley actually have much more ovular lenses, as you can see here. Another big difference here in a telltale sign that you have a Riley or an O'Malley is the uh, orientation of the little metal accents. So here on the Riley, we can see those metal accents are uh, located horizontally. And then here on the O'Malley, we can see that they are vertically placed. Now another big difference here is the Riley have three barrel all metal hinges which feel nice and premium when open up and enclosing them, just very substantial. And then the O'Malley actually have even nicer five barrel all metal hinges, which feel really, really good when open up and closing them. Both these hinges are really good quality, but of course a five barrel hinge is always better than a two barrel hinge. Now, as far as weight goes, a genuine pair of O'Reilly sunglasses are going to come in at 27 grams, and then the Riley sunglasses come in at 30 grams. So not really a big difference there, but the O'Malley is definitely a little bit lighter than the Riley. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, unfortunately, both these frames have very poor coverage from the sun. So here with the Riley, we can see there's a huge gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there's an absolutely massive gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And that's not too surprising because the Riley, of course, was an eyeglass pair for years and years and years. Now, as far as the O'Malley goes, which also was available in eyeglasses, uh, these also don't have good coverage from the sun, but I think they have maybe just a little bit better coverage. So here up top, we can see there's a really big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected, but maybe a little bit less than and the Riley, and then here on the sides, again, there's a massive gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. So both these frames are definitely not practical. They are more about styling looks than anything else. Now, as far as pricing goes, the O'Malley come in at $482 of non-polarized lenses, and the Riley come in at $440 with non-polarized lenses. So there actually is a $40 price difference between these two pairs, and I'm guessing because of the five barrel all metal hinges on the O'Malley, that makes them a little bit more expensive. $40 seems like a lot for just the addition of that. Uh, but of course, it's one of their more iconic frames. So maybe they add a little bit of money on top of the original price tag uh, for that reason as well. But either way, I really do like both these frames. But now let's go ahead and give you guys a quick little 180 of these frames on face. So right now I have on the Riley. And now let me go ahead and pop on the O'Malley Sun. Now personally, if I had to choose between the two, I probably would choose the O'Malley. But that's also because I've been wearing the O'Malley Sun for, you know, probably about eight plus years now. I also really do like and enjoy the look of the O'Reilly frames. They definitely are a little bit more unique. The O'Reilly Sun aren't as popular as the O'Malley, so if you do wear these, you're gonna be a little bit more unique when wearing them out in public. But either way, both these frames are really, really great, and I do recommend how you guys picking a pair if you are interested. Both iconic sunglasses, and if you're interested in picking up the O'Reilly or the O'Malley, I'm going to leave a link in description below where you can pick up either one of these sunglasses uh, from their website. Well, that's all your friends in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs down below, and of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.